Good morning. It's a uh, gloomy, rainy Monday, but I have a day off. You know, I was going to go canoeing on a river on a back lake, but when you have like super intimidating clouds like this, it makes you think twice. Luckily for me though, there's been a Sabine's gull that has been seen for the past three days on Lake Door in Renfrew. So we're gonna go for a drive uh, and we're gonna go try to see this rare gull. Uh, and that's the goal right now. And I think the day will develop into more than that. Fall's happening quickly with uh, colder temps and uh, Highway 60's greens are turning to reds, oranges, and browns. And it's, uh, it's beautiful. It happens really fast, um, but it's a spectacular time of year. And it reminds me that uh, I'm very lucky to live in a place that hundreds of thousands will come uh, to if they get a chance to see the fall color. So I'm feeling pretty lucky with views like this. up I gotta gotta get a scope which is just like this like high power um, magnifying ocular device uh, anyway it'll help me see really really far uh, the Sabines is being seen like a couple kilometers out on the lake so uh, anyway it's very necessary for this type of birding before we grab the scope, check out this view. It's nice being able to soak things in like this uh, first thing in the morning. I feel like it just really sets your day off, right? If you're wondering why I was at that uh, that building and not at the research station, it's because I moved. I moved spots again. I'm used to living a nomadic life. All right, got the scope. It's time to hit the road. has been foretold in the prophecy. We will get the Sabine job before all the sun goes down. Okay, let's see what we can find here. There's a big line of gulls right off the, the boat launch here. So hopefully our Sabines is that easy, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be. Okay, so at this spot, I'm seeing ring-billed gull, herring gull, uh, there's a pied-billed grebe, lesser scop, um, conmerganser, hooded merganser, 
Um, but all of the gulls, or I should say a really big group of gulls are way down the lake. Um, and looking on satellite maps, I can see there's a, a public beach, about five minute drive. So I'm going to try from there and see if I can get a closer view of those other birds. They're too far from me uh, to be able to tell what they are. Maybe a better birder would be able to figure it out, but they're like a couple kilometers out. So we're going to move. We're going to hustle. Try to get this Sabines. Okay, spot number two, really promising. There's a flock of Bonaparte's gulls, which are a lot smaller than ring-billed and herring, um, that I imagine the Sabines is probably hanging out with. The problem is, again, they're really far out. Um, what I'm looking for, though, is this black M on the uh, backside of the wings or the top of the wings of the Sabines. So many cars. I'm looking for a back M, black M on the uh, Sabine. So it should be visible, I think, from really far. So as long as I keep my eyes focused, uh, I might be able to spot this thing. Lots of geese flying over. Uh, about 100 cormorants out there. It's kind of kind of cool. Well, I've been staring at this flock for a while and nothing too striking is popping out. Just got off the phone with my boy Henrique. And, you know, a juvenile uh, juvenile Sabine skull is going to be pretty obvious. And even this far out, it'll stand out. I thought I saw a darker bird, but, you know, it didn't pop. Um, so we're going to change perspectives again. We're going to try a different spot, see if we can get a different angle. And, ah. All right, next spot. Let's see what we can do. Starting to feel super sore and tired. So that's when you drink water, do some stretches. All right. Well, we didn't get the, uh, still haven't gone the Sabines, but we got a snow goose, which is early. Uh, it came in with a flock of Canada's, so that's kind of fun. This bird's been reported here since the 9th of September. It is unlikely that the day I show up, it leaves. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's probably still here. And... I just... I can't seem to get it, so I'm getting hungry, impatient, and my neck hurts from staring into this thing, so I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. <sighs> well, if this spot looks familiar, it's because we're back to the same location and we freaking got it! Freaking right! We got the Savines gull. I'm so stoked. I, it's brutal because like, I'm just staring through this thing. It's like a kilometer and a half out there, but the rain rolled in as well. As, that's why I'm wearing a life jacket. Uh, sorry, raincoat. Can't even talk because I'm just so friggin' happy. All the Bonaparte skulls uh, seemed to group up as the rain came in. Uh, and sure enough, there was that dark M-shaped wing pattern and uh, I was able to get the Sabine skull and just so excited. I already texted Henrik and Sarah and Kevin and uh, it's good. It, that took about five hours. That's an Ontario lifer for me. I'm really, really happy. Um, again, feel a little weird that like, I can't even show, I have nothing to show, no picture, nothing on video, but that's kind of just the way it goes sometimes, especially with this type of birding. Things can be so far out. It's right there, it's right there. No fucking way, I just got a picture of it. It might be coming down the shoreline here. Yeah, it's coming down the shoreline. I gotta get a picture of this thing. No way, after like five hours, does it finally come within uh, picture range. <laughs> Birding is electric. At least I have something to show for it.
terrible picture, but it's proof, baby. That's that Savines. There it is. There's that black primaries in the brown M. I can't believe I, I actually got a picture of it. Ah! <laughs> so just a quick backstory. I was giving that outro and then it's whenever you give an outro, something big happens. Anyway, uh, I saw what I thought was the sidelines out of the corner of my eye and then I put my bins up. Sure enough, it was. Sprinted over to the car, grabbed the camera, which I should have had on me, but I didn't. It was raining. And then I had to jump onto this picnic table so that I could see over those cattails and get that picture. Man, so much fun. Keeps you on your toes. So sick, so freaking sick. Still riding that high from seeing the Sabines. Uh, it really, really didn't feel like it was gonna happen. Lovely when something finally clicks, especially right at the last mo moment. Um, a small fun thing that I'm doing for September is a list of goals. Um, some are like do uh, 40 push-ups a day, others are to call certain friends and family just to, you know, people I haven't talked to in a while. And one of them was get a lifer, so that's a big check mark from my September goals today. I'm heading back to the park now. Might stop for some food on the way there. If you've ever been east of Algonquin Park, you've driven by the Wilno Tavern. It's a pretty legendary spot. It's a favorite among people in the area uh, from the Polish heritage of uh, Wilno and the Berries Bay, the Madawaska area. So I think uh, my stomach's gone, so I might, uh, might come in here for some food. see the the history of the area in this place really really cool great view too That exceeded expectations. So freaking good. Like a very home style cooked meal. You leave feeling good, not like heavy or gross. You just you just feel good. Yeah, totally recommend it. Will No Tavern. Check it out if you're ever passing through Barry's Bay or Will No. back in the park now uh, I'm just gonna go back to found lake where uh, I talked with you this morning or I should say started this video this morning and I'm gonna link up with Henrique we're gonna go birding in the airfield to finish the day and uh, finish this video there's a what white crown sparrow it's not there anymore it got flushed Found oh, Mike Bird though. Nice. So we're here uh, checking some sewage lagoons, which, you know, why would you ever go to a sewage lagoon? Well, they turn out to be pretty good spots to bird. They're uh, you know, so, sort of an oasis in a, in a desert in some ways. It's like a productive pond. We've got five solitary sandpipers right here. Check these out. Well, we finished bird in the airfield. You never know. Sometimes you win and you get some pretty cool things. Other times a little bit more quiet. This time it was a little bit more quiet. Overall though, today was a really fun one. 
uh, it was challenging waiting for the Sabines, but it really paid off. Uh, and in the end, I got a lifer and a bird that I'd work hard to get, which meant a lot in the end. So I'm, I'm really happy with today. Uh, that dinner at Wilno is good, good way to finish and a beautiful walk in the airfield. Can't complain, especially with good company. Thanks for joining me on this day and eight. Catch you on the next one.